Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Happy fall, y'all. I've been waiting to say that for weeks. I love that little saying. I think it is so cute when people put that on like little signs for ha for the fall. Happy fall, y'all. I just think that is adorable. This is going to be a fall shop my stash. Before we get into it, I just want to say that a few hours ago, the news broke that Mel Thompson has passed away. And I know a lot of you that watch me are huge fans of hers. And to all of you grieving out there, I just want to say that I'm so sorry to hear about her passing. And I, if any of you guys are struggling, just know that you're not alone. There are lots of people that have been DMing me. They cannot believe the news. I've been seeing a lot of posts going up on Instagram of people who are just shocked about, you know, losing her. And I definitely think the beauty community is a little bit less bright tonight without her in our world. So I am so sorry for the loss of Mel. I don't know the details, but I will keep her family in my prayers tonight and hope that they can find some way to cope with her loss because I am sure it is devastating. All right, let's get back to the topic. This is going to be a fall shop my stash video. I've started doing that this year where every new season I shop my stash for products for that season. It's been a ton of fun and I have been asking other YouTubers to collaborate with me on these videos and I'm very, very, very excited and honored to have Rebecca Morgan collaborating with me this season for the fall Shop My Stash. I sprung this on her last minute and said, hey, do you wanna do a fall Shop My Stash with me? And she said, yes. It's a couple days after the actual start of fall because we had to work out our schedules. But thank you so much to Rebecca for agreeing to collaborate with me on this video. I'm really excited to have you aboard. Rebecca and I have collaborated over the years on big projects such as her roulette pan collab that she does with Alexi and other big projects like the graveyard project pan. This is the first time we are collaborating with just the two of us and I am honored and excited. So I will have her video linked down below and if for some reason you are not subscribed to her yet, I will have her channel linked down below so that you could check her out and fall in love with her. I know the first time I watched her videos, I completely fell in love with her. I mean like this, like that kind of love. Like I could just stare at her beautiful face all day long. She is such a delight and I'll admit that it is a bit intimidating for me to reach out to these YouTubers and ask them if they'll collaborate with me, especially if they're bigger channels than me. But Rebecca is seriously one of the most approachable people on earth. She's just a kind spirit and I think no matter how big her platform or channel grows, she will always be a kind spirit. So thank you so much again, Rebecca, for collaborating with me on this video. All right, let's get into it. In this video, I will be talking about my top five palettes I've chosen for the season of fall and some corresponding makeup products to go along with the eye palettes. So blush, lip products, highlighter, and a few nail polish picks that I have set aside just for fall. So let's start with the eyeshadow palettes. Of course, eyeshadow is one of my favorite things to talk about, although I love all makeup. I had a really hard time narrowing down this category to just five. It turns out that I must really like to buy fall themed eyeshadow palettes because I have a lot of them. But I did manage to do that. I kind of feel like these are fairly obvious, but that's kind of the point. So yeah, they're very fall eyeshadow palettes. That's, that's why I picked them. They remind me of fall. The first one is a Morphe palette. It is the 35F palette. It's one of these big guys. It's a palette I've never used even once. I had to have it. I thought it was so important that I had to have it and now I've never used it and I've had it for several years. But this is it right here and I think it's pretty obvious why I think this would make a great fall palette. I like these shadows very much. I like all of these pinky cranberry shades, but of course I also love these kind of bronzy shades as well. I love bronzy eyeshadow. I love bronzy eyeshadow all year long, but particularly in the fall, I could wear a bronzy eyeshadow just about every day. Um, uh, yeah, you have the row of mattes down here and everything else is a shimmer. 
I love this palette. I don't know why I've never used it, but I love this palette very much and I think it is a great fall palette. All right, next is one of the most, not one of the most, the most expensive eyeshadow palette I own, but every time I look at it, I think fall. And that is my Natasha Denona Green Brown Palette. I think this palette captures the fall vibes pretty well. I mean, again, bronzy awesomeness, some very nice fall greens, some metallics, and then of course these beautiful like rosy nudes over here. I love this palette. I do have one pan right there. This was in my pan in every palette. It took like 500 uses to hit pan on it. Not quite that many, but it took a long time to hit pan. And I should be using this palette a lot more than I am using it. But this is definitely fall to me. All right, another palette that's only been used like once or twice. I feel like I say that about every palette, but I have a lot of makeup I've never really even used. But I think this palette is so very fall. It is the BH Cosmetics Solar Flare Palette. And it is 18 baked eyeshadows. And yeah. I think this is a fall palette. That might just be me, but I definitely think fall. When I see this, there's a couple of like duochrome shades, like that one that has like a green shift. Lots of nice cranberry shades, lots of rusty oranges. It reminds me of fall leaves. Every time I look at this, I think of fall leaves. It is a beautiful palette and the performance of these shadows is equally as beautiful. They just are not the baked eyeshadows that I remember from when I first started wearing makeup. I mean, I remember having this opinion of baked eyeshadows being extremely dry and chalky. These are almost buttery. They're just so good. So good. Look at that. These are really nice eyeshadows. I don't know when BH Cosmetics figured out how to rock the baked eyeshadow, but I love this palette so much, and I think it's a great palette. The only shade I think I've used is this one right here called Orb. I don't think I've used any of the other shadows in this palette yet. All right, this next palette is my perfect fall palette. It is a good sport palette from ColourPop. I love this palette so much. It's one of the last palettes I ordered from ColourPop. I think I had to cut myself off after this one, but I could not say no to this, and this is just such a beautiful fall palette. I love this palette so much. I've only used a few of the shades, but this palette does definitely inspire me. I think it's um, got a nice mix of different tones, but you can still get a ton of complete looks out of this palette. I, I just like it. I don't think I need to explain myself. I mean, look at it. The palette explains itself for me. And rounding out my top five fall eyeshadow palettes is another one I've never used even once. This is the Miss Fabulous palette from Ulta Beauty in collaboration with Jenny Fox. I used to love, she's another YouTuber I used to love watching. In one of the videos I posted earlier this week, I talked a lot about YouTubers that I used to watch all the time, but either I've stopped watching them or they've stopped posting. But I used to love watching Jenny Fox. She used to do super cute nail art tutorials and a lot of beauty videos. But she collaborated with Ulta on this palette. And um, yeah, it's beautiful. Bronzes, oranges, this kind of a plummy pinky shade. That's it. That's all I need. I'm good. I really like this palette. I've never used it though, so I don't know if I really like it as much as I think I do, but I really like the color story of this palette and I should really use it. Okay, those were my top five fall eyeshadow palettes, but I am adding two more eyeshadow palettes into the Shop My Stash for two very different reasons. 
One is only a five pan palette, but I had to mention this palette because it is so special to me. I have not bought a lot of indie makeup over the years. I just am a creature of habit and it's more convenient to shop at Ulta and Sephora than it is to search out indie brands. I would love to buy indie brand makeup, but convenience gets me every time and I end up going with Ulta or Sephora instead of choosing indie brands. Also, a lot of indie brands came onto the scene after I started my low buy and I really haven't bought many eyeshadows since starting my low buy in 2019. So that's another reason why I don't have a lot of indie brands. But this is a product from an indie brand that I purchased before I started my low buy. And sadly, the brand is no longer around. She closed up shop and I haven't been able to get a hold of her to find out what happened, where she went, what's going on with her. But this was from the brand Lala Cosmetics and she had an Etsy shop. And look at these gorgeous matte shadows. I just think this is a perfect fall eyeshadow palette. Just give me a shimmery champagne shade and I'm good to go. I did have to repress this shade right here that broke at some point getting tossed around my makeup drawers. But yeah, look at this beauty. I just think this is such a gorgeous selection of matte shadows. It is, it's so simple. It's only five shadows, but it's perfect. It is fall. And the last eyeshadow palette I am bringing in because I need to review it. I am so excited. I only told like two people about this. So you guys are hearing it first. But thanks to Influencer and Pat McGrath, I got the holiday palette from Pat McGrath sent to me free for review. I am so excited. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey palette. <sighs> Words cannot describe how excited I was when I found out I was on the list to be sent this palette for review. This is an $80 palette, I believe. It's not cheap. One shadow did arrive shattered, which just breaks my heart. I repressed as much of it as I could back into the palette, but I am really disappointed that one of the shadows broke. But this is what it looks like. I'm sure you've all seen it by now, but this is the holiday palette from Pat McGrath. This is the shadow down here that broke. I was able to save about half of the shadow. I have no idea where the rest of it went um, because I saved every bit that I could and it only filled up half the pan. So the other half must have gone somewhere. But look at this beauty. I don't know if I would consider this a fall palette. I might consider it more of a winter palette or a year round palette but I do need to review this. So I figured I would throw it into this shop, my stash and work on it over the next couple weeks so that I can get a review going. But oh my gosh, this is going to kill my low buy, but I don't even care. I was sent this for review. I feel like one lucky dog. I remember last year, a lot of my friends were sent the holiday palette from Pat McGrath at last holiday. And I remember feeling that pang of jealousy, like why didn't I get it? And, um, you know, of course I'm happy for my friends that got it, but I was really wishing that I would have gotten it. But now this year, I haven't. I'm very excited to be working on this. So yeah, I had to show you guys this because I will be adding this into my shop, my stash. And I think I'm going to give it, I'm thinking about doing a 10 looks, one palette with this. I'm going to try. It'll, it'll be quick, but I'm... I'm very confident that I could easily get 10 looks from this palette, if not more. I mean, with this variety, I am I have no doubt that I can get 10 looks from this palette. Unfortunately, a lot of the green has spilled out onto the other shadows, so they might all look green. Every look might be a little bit green, but let me know if you would like to see like a 10 looks one palette with this beautiful, gorgeous palette. Okay, let's move on. I only pulled one bronzer. I don't know, I don't feel like I need a ton of bronzers for every season. I feel like one will cover it. But what the vibe that I was going for was a bronzer with a little bit of shimmer. I am used to having a natural glow all summer long from the oils that come through my combo skin in the summertime. 
But once fall hits, my skin starts to dry out again and I'm looking for something in my makeup products to give me that glow that I used to have that now I don't. So I picked a glowy bronzer. This is an old Lorac tantalizer. I've had this for a very, very long time, but this is exactly the kind of bronzer that I would like to wear during the fall. It just has a little bit of glow to it. Nothing too like obnoxious, but just something to kind of liven up the skin and make it look a little bit less flat because I do start to dry out. Usually right after Halloween, I get pretty dry. I picked out two highlighters. When I think about the kind of highlighters I'm looking for at this time of year, they're still fairly light, nothing too flashy, nothing too fancy, but I do need a lighter highlighter as my summer tan starts to fade. So I went with this e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. Yes, Moonlight Pearls as well as this Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in Portofino. This came as a trio. They're both very similar, but Portofino has a little bit more of a peachy golden shade, whereas the Moonlit Pearls has more of a silvery. Um, why am I holding that so awkwardly? The Laura Geller has more of a golden peachy tone to it, and the e.l.f. highlighter has more of a silvery champagne tone to it. Similar but different. But I think, but I feel like these would both be really nice choices. As my skin, as my tan fades and as we transition into fall. That's Laura Geller, that's e.l.f. The oh, Laura Geller is really popping. That's the Laura Geller, that's the e.l.f. Okay, and for blush, I chose four. I have an unbelievable amount of blushes, so four seems reasonable. They all have definitely a kind of burnt orange, peachy tone to them. Some are more neutral, some are just more orange, some are more matte, some are more glowy. First of all, I have this old Almay blush. This is in the shade Coral. This is in the shade Coral. I thought this was the cutest design. I loved this from the moment I saw it. And they did have a pink version with the polka dots on it like this. And I was intending to pick it up at some point, but I never got around to it before they discontinued this line and repackaged it with a whole different design, like with stars. But I really like these polka dots for some reason. Anyways, I think this would make a perfect fall blush. That is a pretty matte blush. The other matte blush that I picked is from Tarte. <sighs> Can I say this word? Achiote? 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 I don't know how to say that. I've never tried, but it is a peachy pink blush. It has it, This definitely has a lot more pink in it than the last one, but man, is it beautiful. I've never used this blush. Yep, definitely a lot more pink in it than the last one. This is the pinkiest of the bunch. And then a shimmery coral blush is from Maybelline right here. This is the Master Highlight blush in the shade Coral again. I guess I'm really into coral blushes this time of year. This has the blocks of matte, the blocks of shimmer, but if you just swirl your finger around all of them, you get an overall shimmery blush. Very shimmery, this is very light. It almost is like a blush topper. And the last blush that I chose is the most neutral out of all of them. It is this trio of CoverGirl blushes in the Instant Cheekbones line. And this shade is called Sophisticated Sable. It has three different tones and three different levels of shimmer. I would probably just take my brush and run it across the whole thing, but this is definitely the most neutral out of all these blushes. Beautiful though. Okay, before we get into the lip products, let's touch on the nail polishes I picked out. I have pulled 
five. Like a lot of people, as soon as fall rolls around, I'm looking for dark, moody nail polishes. I love the way an all black manicure looks on a woman's hand. I think it is cool and mysterious and sexy all at the same time. None of the nail polishes I picked out are just a regular black, but some of them are very dark. The lightest one of the bunch is a metallic. And overall, I do not Overall, I don't really like metallic nail polishes or lipsticks. It's just not my thing, but there's something about fall when I feel like I could kind of get away with a metallic. This is an old nail teeny polish. I received this in an Ipsy bag a million years ago, and this is the shade Champagne, and it's just a metallic bronzy, like rose gold kind of a shade, and I think this is a perfect fall nail polish if you're not looking to go too vampy. I also have a deep red wine shade. This is a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Polish in Wine Stock. I talk about this all the time, but I don't like red polish. I don't like a true red nail polish, but I love a deep blood red nail polish like this, especially in the fall. I think it looks so good. Next, I have a Julep Polish. This is in the shade Brandy. It looks like a dark grayish bluish shade that is just chock full of shimmer and glitter. And I think it would make an awesome fall polish. Next is a KL polish. This is in the shade Cassio. I want to say Cassiopeia, but I think it's Cassiopeia. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I've heard Kathleen say Cassiopeia. And she is the astrology queen, so I am not going to argue with her. But this is a gorgeous deep brown with like a bronzy shimmer running through it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. I, um, recently ran across an Instagram post where I showed off this polish from a few years ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, that polish is amazing. Obviously, KL polish is not around anymore, but if you have this polish, you should really pull it out for fall because this is gorgeous. And the final polish I have is a Sinful Colors polish. I don't own a lot of Sinful Colors, but this is the shade What's Your Name? And it is basically a black with a navy blue shimmer running through it. And I think that navy blue shimmer makes it kind of cool. I haven't used this polish in a really, okay, you could really see my ring light more than the blue shimmer, but there. I haven't used this polish in a long time, but the second I saw it, I thought, man, this would be a great fall polish and I should really use it. I had to cut all my nails off recently. They are super short, but as soon as they grow out a little, I'll probably do a manicure again. It's been a while. Okay, let's move on to the lip products. As always, I've pulled a bunch, probably too many. For the first time ever, I'm rolling a few products from my summer shop my stash into my fall shop my stash. I really feel like these products could have gone in both seasons, and unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to use them at all during summer, so I thought, I'll roll them over. First of all, I have this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lipstick in Peach Pit. I thought this would make a great summer lipstick, but I also think it will make a great fall lipstick. And then I have this very, very old lip gloss. Oh my gosh, it is so old. This is the Milani Glitzy Glamour Gloss in the shade All About Me. And it is just this gorgeous kind of red shimmery lip gloss. This is a really great lip gloss. I've had it for a million years, but it is perfect for summer or fall. The next thing I pulled is my bag of browns. I did a whole video where I shot my stash for dupes for a CoverGirl lipstick that I decided to declutter a few months ago. And these were all of the dupes to that lipstick. There are 
five lipsticks here. I will link that video down below if you missed it, but um, these are the five lipsticks that were the best dupes for that brown CoverGirl lipstick I decluttered, and it's fall, so it seems like a good time to rock a brown lipstick, so I pulled the whole bag out, and then I have a few other lipsticks I pulled because I am a lipstick junkie. All right, let's just run through these kind of quickly. I do have a few lip crayons here. First of all, this is Max French Kiss. This is a sheer brown. I received this as a free gift and I didn't think I'd like it at all, but surprisingly, I kind of like it a lot. So I would love to use that. I also have this very dark shade from NYX. This is the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in the shade She Devil. I don't know if I have the balls to pull this off. I mean, I would for a video, certainly, but to walk around town, I don't know. But I like the idea of it. I wanna be the person who can rock this. I don't know if I am that person, but I would like to think I am that person. So I buy these kind of lip products and then never wear them. So I'm pulling this out for my Fall Shop My Stash. And then finally, I have this e.l.f. Um, matte lip crayon in praline. I totally bought this because of Emily Noel. If you guys are subscribed to her, you have definitely heard her talk about this lip product a few hundred times, and I think this is a really nice fall shade. Mm. Wearable fall. Dark, but not too dark. I have a few more lip glosses that I pulled. First of all, I have this amazing Lorac lip gloss. This is the Lip Luster Cream in the shade Crown Jewel. I received a set of these lip glosses from my friend Jamie for my birthday one year, and I think these are such an amazing formula. So underrated. This is a red with quite a bit of like burnt orange to it, and it just makes it so wearable for me because I don't really wear red lipsticks either, but also so fall. And also I have another metallic shade, like the nail polish. I don't wear metallic lips like ever, but when fall rolls around, all of a sudden I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of feel like rocking a metallic lipstick. So this is a NYX lip gloss in the shade Cosmo. And yeah, it's another like rose gold shade that I feel screams fall. And the last four lip products I have pulled are all liquid lipsticks, all similar in tone. First of all, I have an Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Mocha. Love this shade, love the formula. I have a Bare Minerals liquid lipstick. This is the Gen Nude formula in the shade Swank. I have a L'Oreal lipstick sample. It's a deluxe sample. It's their Infallible Pro Matte Gloss, and this is in the shade, I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass out to see the name, but I will list it down below because I cannot read it without some help. But there's definitely the word nude in it. And finally, I have a liquid lipstick from Ulta. I did not think I would like this at all, and I ended up loving this liquid lipstick. This is the Matte Metallic Liquid Lipstick. Again, I know there's a name for this, but it's not written on this packaging at all. I will leave it down below, but this was a gorgeous liquid lipstick and I loved it. I used it in an advent calendar um, video. I used it in an advent calendar project I did a few years ago and I loved it. So I would definitely wear this metallic liquid lipstick for fall. I think that's everything. I feel like I've been talking forever, you guys. I know this is a lot of makeup but I'm gonna put it in a box and keep it with me throughout the season. I will do my best to incorporate all of these makeup products in upcoming Get Ready With Me's and um, as I pull products in for project panning, I will go to this box first before I go anywhere else to try to incorporate these products into projects throughout the season. At least that's the plan. So doing these videos has been a huge help to me as far as thinking about the season, thinking about the products I would like to focus on for the season, and to incorporate these products into different activities like Get Ready With Me's and Project Pans so that I could get more use out of them rather than just keeping them in my office where they're just gonna sit and wait for me even longer. 
So I'm really excited about the start of fall and this new season of makeup and these shades that just are so fall for me. I'm really excited to start incorporating them. I'm not excited about summer being over. I wish it was summer four seasons out of the year. If it were up to me, we would only have one season and it would be summer. But fall is here. There's nothing I can do about it other than to embrace it and do the best I can with it and to enjoy the fall fashion and the fall makeup that goes along with the season. And I think these products are perfect for that. So that is it for this video. Thank you once again so much to Rebecca for collaborating with me on this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check her out if you haven't seen her video yet. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.